Okay, so here's a pair of long tail blues, and we're near Porto de la Cruz seafront. It's a relatively common species, but it's nice to see a pair together like this. And uh, so you can see the difference between males and females. It's a very slight difference in the underside I can see here. Um, you see the classic long tail and that white band near the outer margin. And uh, it's a great, great shot of a male and female together like this. They've been here for some time. We're in a dried out riverbed looking really for the African migrant still on the 19th of June 22 Porto de la Cruz sea run and the north of Tenerife it's much drier at sea level here as you can see from the the background it's come out again from the background vegetation in this dried out riverbed in the town and this goes down to the sea some flowers here so it's good for butterflies We've seen the bath white in here as well, which is quite nice, but not a new species. You get common what, uh, bath white on um, Tenerife as well. Um, I knew that the long-tailed blue was here. It's relatively common in Southern Europe, but it's nice to see a male and female together like this. And uh, while we're looking for the other migrants that are new for me, this is just a nice, a nice treat to um, to find this. Okay, it's so a male and female. <coughs> uh, I'm assuming the males on the right and the females on the left, the darker specimen there. So they're not showing up sides at the moment, but there's subtle differences in the underside. Okay, so male and female, long tail blue on Tenerife, Porto de la Cruz, June. 2022 and that's the way down to the sea. We'll explore some more.